Well, here we are. Welcome to another episode of Montana Haven. We're going on a bachelor party. And the guy right back there, you're going to see more of by his car. There he is, trying to hide the key. In case you wonder where he hides his key, that's where he hides it. Uh, that's He's getting married to my, brother, my sister-in-law. And so we're all hiking in here. There's Bear Lakes. There's about, I don't know, three, four miles, I don't know, a series of three lakes in the Cabinet Mountain Wilderness. And we're all either brother-in-laws or, I guess we're all brother-in-laws except one friend. So we are uh, going to have a blast here, camping out for the night. What do you got to say for yourself, Elam, bachelor boy? What's that? Are you excited? I'm pumped. This I'm excited a... to get this over so I can get married. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> this is a, a rite of passage, right? <laughs> right. We've been hiking for an hour, probably went three miles or so, and we're getting into the snow. This is a pretty little creek right on the trail here. Pretty epic. Yeah, it's just beautiful. We're here in the very thrushes. Look at the sun coming through the trees. Isn't that just unreal? Tall trees. I mean, this is amazing experience. Awesome. Very thrushes. We just heard the hermit thrush. And... When you hear those two birds, you know you're in the high country, especially the hermit thrush. It's epic, man. Good times. Well, this is pretty crazy. I'm not sure where we're gonna sleep tonight. This is like epic. Everything's snowed in. I guess we can wrap our body around one of these tree wells. Kind of wonder if Steven's regretting bringing his shorts up here. Another creek to cross here. On the way up. Wow, pretty. Bear Lakes, number one. Yeah, definitely raining. I'm actually amazed there's no ice floating on here. Oh, wow. Pretty. There's that end of the lake all the way to this end. Beautiful. This is looking from this end of the lake. Water flowing out right here. Beautiful. All right, we're heading into the second lake. Taking off right now. This is epic, epic, epic. We're right here at the, there I see the lake down there actually. That's so awesome. Oh, it's beautiful here. Look at that. The peaks in the background. Surrounded by cliffs. We'll get a better view in a minute. The view is just not too shabby. That's looking towards home. Wow. I see... Uh, Snowshoe Peak there, which is the tallest peak in the Cabinet Mountains, right there, and then A-Peaks right in the back, way in the back there, about a mile further. Oh, wow. We see you just saw a couple fish jumping down here. Fell a few raindrops. You never know what's going to throw at you. Well, we made it to the second lake. We came down that rock slide over there, and I'm hiking around the lake here, see if I can get away from the rest of the guys and uh, do some fishing. But I gotta show you this. Look at that. Amazing. Look at that amazing rock slide up there. I mean, waterfall. It was beautiful. It's probably 100 yards from me. Just cascading down over the top. It's so awesome. Beautiful. So we're trying to catch some fish, see what happens. Well, I just got this really nice, actually, I think it's a cutthroat. If you look at it, yeah, it's a cutthroat trout. It's got, uh, see the orange right there? A little paranoid, it's gonna fall off and get in the water, but it's probably about, all right, calm down. I don't know, 12 inch or something. Pretty nice, I'm pretty happy. This is the first fish we caught of the night, so it's gonna be eaten, good eating, that's for sure. We got one guy in the water, trying to retrieve a lure. A little on the chilly side, Benjamin, is it? Uh, we're all a whole bunch of guys out here trying to catch fish and I'm the only one that's caught one. I didn't even have a second bite yet. 
Some of the guys got a fire going over there. Thinking about maybe running down to the third lake. Just see if we can get anything. While we're doing our fishing, the trick is here is to actually do that to make it really nice and crispy. There you go. Now you got a nice fish in there that's just broiled to perfection. Okay, we have an interesting situation going on here. Right by the thing. I think, man, I don't see Some of these guys and then I jerked it put rocks in the like fire. And uh, so it's red hot, and they're trying to do some kind of a sweat lodge over here. So they got that thing wrapped up, and they put some rocks in there, go in there and get a steam bath. So we'll see what happens. We don't have a shovel, so he's getting the rocks out this way here. Yeah. Does he, uh, flat, look no. at that. That stick on there caught fire. Yeah, the rock is. Ooh. Yeah, that it. bad boy is hot. Is that, are that you sure that you're is, ready? I don't feel like there's a flat rock, rock in here. What are you doing? Right here. <laughs> this is hilarious. <laughs> Come on, boy. Don't be afraid to wait on this. I got steam coming out of there. <laughs> Dude, it's so fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty hot in there. Not getting much food. Oh, <laughs> Lord. Four guys are steaming Whoa, up the top. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there they go. Wow. They're sweating up a bee, up the storm. Lock it up, lock it up, lock it up. Man, they are steamed up. Look at that. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> 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 so here this morning we're up bright and early not too bright but uh anyways we're cooking some eggs and hash browns we got bacon going here and uh, somehow they wrestled me into being the camp cook i don't know how that happened uh, but uh grouse eggs we're, we're trying to uh make a goulash here so should be pretty good i'm thinking I like campfire food, man. Here what we got today is we got a couple more fish. It's awesome. We got three more this morning. Marcus and Benjamin got a couple. And uh, we're going to do like a caviar in the wilderness situation right here. This is uh, our version of Fear Factor. Poor man's sushi. It's actually really good. All we do is we just put some salt on there. Marcus, try some of this caviar. Rocky Mountain caviar. Tell me what you think, bro. Well, everybody else is pretty much. Well, you, you didn't have any. I had, I had wow, it's really good. That is really Sweet. good. Yep. It's awesome. Was that cutthroat egg? Yep, cutthroat egg. Wow. Can't beat it. I'm gonna eat some of Marcus's fish. Yeah. Well, here's where I spent the night. I cut some branches right here. Made myself a little. Actually, just kind of keep the mud away. That's what I did. Then I had a uh, waterproof thin uh, layer that I put down and then I threw my little pad on there and my sleeping bag right on top and it was actually pretty comfortable slept pretty decent so but it was kind of hard there's a lot of snow around here and uh, definitely most of the guys had a rough time finding a, a place to curl up under around a tree well or something but I think we all found something so we get ready to, to take off now we just had breakfast and I've been sitting there a little while and and uh, getting things kind of packed up we're gonna try to go up and Hike all the way up to the top, maybe check out that cornice way on top up there and look, take a look at that and uh, maybe go to the next lake and try to catch some fish. So should be a good day. Head out of here. I got Wyatt's birthday party coming up this evening and he's turning seven. So it's important for dad to be home. Uh, his birthday is tomorrow, but we're celebrating it today. So I'll head out of here this afternoon and get home and spend time with the family again. It was so good to get away and spend time out here in nature. 
We're hiking up here towards the top behind us here. And if you look down there, you can see the pollen literally blowing off the lodgepole trees. It's that yellow haze. That is amazing. It must be a breeze down there, right in the center of the screen and all along that ridge and along the bottom. It's a uh, heavy pollen this time of year and it's just must be a breeze really whipping it up. It's so beautiful. I'm pretty much out of breath, but we made it up to this cornice. Look at the water just dripping off of there. So beautiful. Wow, almost to the top. There's a lake way down there. And uh, behind this cornice, there's a, like literally a hole, I think. It's melted through there. Yep, pretty neat. And we're up. Awesome, he's loving it. Wow, there's a brisk breeze up here. Look on the other side here. So awesome. We're literally on top of the cabinet divide here. From here, you can see all the way out into the next valley, the Bull River Valley. And you can see all the way into Idaho. It's a little, raining a little bit here, but just endless basins, endless places to explore. Absolutely incredible to live in a place like this. How awesome is this? Incredible. Way down there on that rock slide, you can see a little bit of a green roof right there in the center of the screen. It's a little chimney coming out of it. It's really hard to see. It's the bottom of the rock slide right in the trees and it would be right there, right above my finger. And right there years ago, we built a little cabin and there's a piece of private property from an old mining claim that the guy uh, has up here and he, we built him a little cabin and he flew it up here with a helicopter, dropped it off up here, hiked up here and put it together. Just a tiny little cabin, but it's so cool. It sits over top of the third lake, which is right down the draw. We can't see it quite from here, but it is amazing. Forest Service didn't really like that he did that, but what can they do about it? It's private property, so an old mining claim. And the only way to get up here is to hike up here, so it's not easy, easily accessible. But wow, we're just, look at all the mountains, guys. I mean, unfortunately, it's really cloudy today. And a lot of pollen in the air or something. I think it's mostly pollen because of the wind. But just incredible, the view. Absolutely amazing. So happy to live in a beautiful place like Montana. So few people can experience something like this. Just absolutely in awe. There you can see the first lake. I didn't notice that. That's the first lake we popped in last night. Right there. So there's three of these bear lakes. One, two down here, and then three over by that cabin right there. I think Elam here found a found himself a, a den. There he goes. Right in the it's a cave right there. Snow cave. Better make sure he's okay. There comes a <laughs> polar bear den. Go check it out. I can do this without sliding off the cliff here. Oh man, look at that. That's way cool. It's bigger than you think. Wow. <laughs> it goes way back in here a little ways, maybe another 12 feet. Nice. It came out across these tracks. Look at these mega tracks compared to Omar's hand. Look at that, the wolf tracks. See the claw marks in there? So they're definitely wolf tracks. Melted out a little bit, but they're huge. It's amazing. Wolf running right on top of this ridge. Isn't that crazy? There's the third lake. We can finally see it. There's the second lake we came from. And now there's the third lake. Endless beauty up here. Top of the world. Almost. Okay, this is the side of a rock. You just have to look at these cool patterns. I mean, it is amazing. That's actually lichen growing on there. Look at the colors. Look at that yellow one right there. I mean, I'm just fascinated by the amazing detail of how it looks here. This is one huge rock. That's how big it is. It's probably six, seven feet tall. 
it's really cool and the weather's really changed it's like rain and pretty good clip here and uh we're gonna head down here go down through the trees there's a major snow slide we're gonna shoot down there on our feet we're gonna get back to camp and burn out of here pretty white Ladies and gentlemen, you're about to partake of an epic experience. Go ahead, I'll let him go. This is probably a, I don't know, 35 or 40 degree slope. <laughs> I might just go head first in the end just for the heck, heck of it. Wow. Yeah, just make sure you don't hit us now. We got it. We got to get a, somebody fall. Oh, that's good. There goes Elam. It doesn't look very steep, but it's steep. Easy, watch that rock! Oh my goodness. All right, I'm gonna see if I can do this and stay on my feet. Heading out. Where coffee comes from. Sorry for the New York lingo. <laughs> We're leaving two guys here. They'll be here coming out later. Peace out, bro. See you guys. Crossing the creek again here. Oh, I think somebody's coming here, dog. Really neat flowers, trilliums. They're so pretty. They grow to uh, start off white and then they change color and go to a pink and purple. But yeah, we're heading out just a lot of water along here. And we're getting out of the snow now, but there's water running everywhere. I'm gonna show you some of these flowers. They're so beautiful. That's an Indian paintbrush, Mariposa lily, and I think these might be like some type of type of bluebells and oh just spectacular through here beautiful I find so much joy and look at these flowers I don't know if you do or not but uh, just the beauty of all the intricate little things of like the uh, the flowers and the moss growing on the rock and just incredible actually but we're we're hiking out we're almost out and uh, actually I think our truck is down there yep we met a couple other people hiking in, so I think that's their rigs, but yep, it was it was a good day. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed being here, and uh, I hope you find joy. I think it's important to find joy in, you know, the little things in life. Uh, joy in, like I mentioned, just, you know, the beauty when you catch a fish, just the incredible striking colors on that fish are just absolutely no one can make it except our creator it's, it's absolutely phenomenal it's impossible that something like that could be created from a you know a slam or a slime or something like that so that's really hard to uh, you know it takes a lot of faith to believe we came from a, a germ or something so but anyways uh, I believe that God created everything and he created everything so beautiful and all these flowers the moss, the greenery, everything is just phenomenal. So we had such a wonderful time and uh, we're gonna head back to our families. I thank you so much for watching this channel. If you enjoyed it, leave us, leave us a comment. We read all the comments and uh, um, yeah, thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing. God bless you and uh, I will talk to you soon.